Greetings, traveler. Yeah, in a more controller style, they can kind of just say, okay, you can get a little bit of value off of that, that's fine. But you don't actually pressure them enough to ever matter. 2 3? And by 2, I mean the Forger? Forger for sure. Just checking if Zubot's good enough. Yeah, think about trying Shenanigans to. Shenanigans we can do. Or something. Or yeah, I think just Forager's good for me. Okay. Look for a Basilisk, look for a Yeti, look for a Banshee, those kind of Yeah, we have a lot of better cards than the 3-3, three, three, so I'm okay with sending it. Yeah, Firefly's Perfect. good. Yeah, no, that'll yeah, do. No. That'll do! Oh, Glacial Shark. When you see someone tell you your face on turn you one, you're like, ah, it's Glacial Shark. Yep. Fly. Fly. Let's go. And you don't want to point the other one, right? Nah. Yeah. It's like we're playing Yeti. Yeah, exactly. No more oh no. That card's annoying. He traded for us. How nice. Forger? Yep. My favorite. <laughs> well, that <Nice>. sucks. <laughs> Dan's game. I'm making some dudes. Ah, uh, he's uh. He's going for the value, dudes. What is your reasoning for not keeping Wrath against Paladin? We're not a deck that needs to keep Wrath. We're a deck that yeti. kills people. And trade? Or do you want to uh, hero power? It's weird. True Silver is nice for him. I, th I think hero power flames a little slow, but you could I potentially think. just go Basilisk bump. Which means that if he has True Silver, it's you save your coin. And if he has Kings, it's better. Yeah, I think I prefer just Basilisk and kill a dude. Worse to uh, Silver Moon Portal. Uh, is it? Slightly, I Maybe. think. He right? still just buffs his guy up to die into the Basilisk, right? Because you're guess, killing a 1-1, yeah. one, one, right? So. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. So you want to play Basilisk then? Yep, yep. When was the last time you had an 0-3? At the start of KFT, I had a 0-3 with Collins. I remember it. We were kind of gotcha. just memeing around, not really doing much, playing on her. I think it was like the fourth or fifth run that day, and it was just tired, and we did stuff, and the opponents did stuff, and suddenly we were 0-3. Did Collins convince you to do Control Hunter back then? <laughs> no, it was just weird. Look, okay, weird draft, weird just bad game. draft, and unlucky games, and most of all, not really paying enough attention to the games. Uh, trade Yeti. It's either that or elemental, mark, hero power, kill two of them. Leaves them with a lot less options, but you don't get the Yeti and you use your mark. He gets to play Lion if he wants to. Yeah, and then you have to mark the Yeti next turn. Yeah. Actually, hero power. I think it's okay to Yeti and trade. It's just awkward. Yeah. If you save coin till turn 10, you can coin a giant. Yeah, but I'd rather not play this thing. Can you? I don't think you can go Oh, no, you mana. can't. No, no, yes. you can't go up to 11 mana. <laughs> it doesn't let you. There's the lion. Yep. There's the lion. Yep. Swipe top deck, please? No, it's not swipe. Um, one, three, hero power. I don't think that's better. Let's see, what do we got? I think we're always hero powering, right? Sure, you can hero power the bubble, that's fine. I think we play the one and the mark. We could also just play the greedy sprite, kind of a little awkward. Coin the mark, or coin the one. Alternatively, you just kill a 1-1 one, one in sprites, but there's way more, like, potion of heroism and yeah. shenanigans and stuff that could go wrong. If we sprite and coin, trade, trade. We can still portal, so I think that's fine. Sprite and coin the mark. What is your favorite hero in Arena? All time favorite is Rexar. Rexar, Valera. Right now I've had a lot of fun with Thrall. Mm, yeah. It depends a bit based off what the. Uh, what the meta is like, but over all-time favorites, Rexarian. 
Everyone's clamoring for Glaive Zuka. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Glaive was insane. It's a little slow. Yep. Oh, it's going. Okay. Wow. That's nice. Uh, you want to draw a card? Yep. Sounds good. Oh man. Remember when you get to get two cards from that? <laughs> good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Uh, Philosophy Stone sessions are usually not scheduled in a neophyte. They're, they're usually at the end of a stream when I don't feel like going offline yet, but I also don't feel like playing because I'm not playing well enough. That's usually when I do Philosophy Stone. I've been really underwhelmed by this card, the Lesser Control Spell Stone. Yeah, it definitely needs a certain kind of deck. Tempted to, tempted to give him the cart and just take the perfect Three. trade on the devil star. What do you think? One more card for killing a 4 7 over a 2 2. I think that's okay. Yeah, 4 7 is just so scary if he steeds that shit. Yeah, so you go with that? Yeah, so I five, think 5, five and the 3 and devil star to 4 7. Just very nice. Hey, the auger. Yep. It's shady and the number three. Uh, if he keeps it alive now, that's where it might become very punishing. Like if he taunts now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Got the portal on the Devil Star if he can't kill it, though. That'd be great. Six mana stone. Can't find clear. Still true silver, but Steed means we can hero power it down with a heal. Yeah. Let me think. It's really like true silver or hammer of wrath here, it looks like. Most likely ways that he could deal with it. Or a taunt. Or a taunt, yeah. Just kind of wish you flipped our guy. Um, so heal. No, heal power. Take, take the damage first, right? Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. A so seven. Yeah, you're right. power to bubble trades. Heal our guy. Yeah. By far better. <laughs> Let's go. Find size summoner would also work. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Are we gonna play the flame still? Yep. Solid turn right there. That is a good one to get. Yeah, whenever you do this with Moonlight Portal, it's just like, oh, this card is so good. Alright, now we just need a top deck warden and go from there. Yep. Let's get that warden, baby. And then we're popping off. <laughs> The summon the warden, come forth! Yo. Stream wants it! We want it! Let's go! Oh, trading? That would be interesting. I mean, the whole reason you take taunt there is so you don't have to trade, right? Yeah. I guess the other options could have been worse, but... Can't really see what know. would be worse. Yeah, I don't know. Another, like, Something you'd still take another stealth, attack over. Yeah. It over the, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it just helped us out a lot. Oh, good job, chat. You're right, the real so, MVP, chat. So, Warden, then Basilisk, the right? Or Basilisk. <laughs> uh, so, Warden for sure. Yeah, Warden for sure. Okay, he might just concede after yeah. he's done. And then so. trade one, trade the other, seven phase. So, Banshee pushes more damage. Does that set up lethal? No, 10, 17, 18, no. 18, so, you want to play that Basilisk then? Just to deal with whatever he plays? 
He gets swipe lethal with Banshees, so I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the risk? Yep. Right. It's also better in case he has Deathwing. If he has Deathwing, you get to react with Shell Shift or Basilisk. Yeah, that's true. So I run those minute chances. We level him up. Yeah, it looks like that. Or Adeptus R. Yeah, that card's very good right now. I gotta say, these Reporting Guy Synergy Gai cards have been very good uh, in this meta. <laughs> Swipe or Roar. Let's go, baby. Do you want a Wild Growth first? Just try to look for an answer. It's a whole lot of milling. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's all six cards. To just search for one. Hmm. We don't have lethal power, so it'd have to be Roar. Yeah, right? my swipe. So instinct tells me so to go. Say again? It's one, out, it's one out of five, basically. It's... My instinct tells me to go Crypt Lord and Shell Shifter as Taunt, Hero Power 1, Sent the 7 face, and then talk. Okay, so Crypt Lord, Shell yeah. Shifter. I want to see what gets milled. As Taunt, you said? Yeah, for sure. Because we want to play around him killing us. And then 7 base for sure. Yeah, and then hero power dude for sure. I think it's just 10 face because then the swipe is still on the deck so swipe hero power still kills him. He basically needs a quality here. Yes he does. Or uh, 2 level ups. Or that, yep, that, that would also be very very bad. <laughs> I always forget they get taunt as well. Yeah, if he had a little level up, we could probably lose the game, actually. Yeah, because that, that that's what makes it so good, right? You get the taunt on there. Yeah. Deck seems really fun to play. Druid is just fun to play in general, yeah. You really get this, like, uh, hitting them, like, chasing them down kind of feeling. I must protect the when you've been playing, like, this super high control -y style, it's fun to switch it up. Yeah, it's one of the few classes where you can actually play a little bit aggressive, yeah. and it's like it actually works pretty well. Come on. Yeah. Was, the ramp has been good, just really good. Sprite yeah. as well, just been solid. So you're about to see why we don't keep wrath, guys. Because right. it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You definitely want the proactive cards. Do you want a wild growth here? Yes. Oh god. Top decks. Top decks fixed everything. Yeah. I was, good, like, I was like, right. this is not a great start where he has a firefly yeah. and we're going to have to gonna be defending and stuff. Top deck wild growth into Yeti. Feels good, man. Into Druid of the Claw, into Menagerie Warden. Let's go. <laughs> Easy curve. Easy curve. <laughs> God damn it. Just like, I told you you wanted Wrath. <laughs> uh, do you Wrath one hero power or do you just play the Panther? I'm leaning Panther for sure because it cleans the way for Basilisk. Yeah, I'm, I think we play the three. I don't think we need the draw. Yep. All right, let's do it. Well, not needing the draw is definitely, yeah. It's like, I, I think we need the thing on board more than we need the draw. But yeah, we also yeah. do need to draw. Well, yeah, we need to draw, but I mean, I don't think the draw... I don't think one draw is worth uh, losing the board that much, I mean. That's how I should have, I should have phrased it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, I got what you meant. For sure, for sure. <laughs> the trade-off isn't... doesn't make it's not sense. It's coil. not worth it. It's good if you debate the coil here. Oh, uh, yeah. All face. Easy face. Easy... Oh, yeah, spellstone. It's pausing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, so he can just snipe this Yeti for... Ah, oh, that's disgusting. He, gets, he just heals back up. Wow, that's insane. It's probably more disgusting that we know he can do that now, but you can see the pause on the two bombs, right? It was, yeah. yeah, I saw it as well, so he definitely yeah. has it. Oh. They should actually fix that on the... Yeah. Yeti I kill the bomber? I think still play the Yeti. Yeah, you still play it, right? Just yeah. let him kill it. It sucks. You didn't know there was a bomber glitch? Yeah. Stuff where you take damage, like it pauses a little bit. 
Well, at least it's, the bomber didn't kill our three one. Otherwise, we'd yeah, be in a really sure. bad spot here. It's not with everything. It's it's like Druid Spellstone used to also do that with Hero Power, and then they fixed that, and then it was other cards. And I think they fixed it with other cards as well now. He didn't use this. Why? He didn't use it here. Interesting. And he's just giving us the one three. Ooh, level three is killed again. Yeah, seems very fine. nice. <laughs> I think he'll finally use it here on the one seven. I guess. Yeah, keeps the Eddie safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Forces his hand. I bet he wants to first tap and then coin it to get the extra healing. <laughs> Although I don't think he... Yeah, it's it's weird, right? Because you kind of don't want to play it on a 1-7, but you also don't want to play anything into the Basilisk, so... It's just weird all around. Yeah, his turn's a little awkward. He already played the other flame, yeah, so I don't know. That's what Basilisk does, man. It's just makes awkward boards. Why so good? That's why priest being able to steal it is like even with the priest being able to steal it is like it has the divine shield, so you you have to wait to steal the second one basically. Oh, we'll save that coin. Okay. Ooh. Wow, this turn sucks. I uh, think buffing here to play around like one damage AOE could be very, very relevant. He clearly doesn't have. Coil, he would have used it last turn since he had the mid. Yeah, I think like both Dreadlord and Dread Dreadlord Infernal. And... Yeah. Could be very yeah, relevant. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So buff here? Yeah, buff hero power. Feels bad, but I think it's the right play. Job done. At least we have the charge level sword to go off next turn. Yeah, yeah. I was this... gonna Dread Infernal that. <laughs> this looks like this could be our first loss. Let's see. Yeah, my kind of need nourish. The thing is, living mana probably won't even do it because this guy's gonna have AOE. Yeah, he's gonna either have AOE or a Void Lord or something. Since, well, depending on when we draw the living mana, Void Lord might yeah, not yeah, do it. Yeah. Might be too late, but okay, it's tapping. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's okay. So charge double sword that, and then seven base. Yep. Yeah. Might go for the coin nether. But we Might have to have do this. Here. Coin nether, yeah, those are the most likely lines. At least with the abyssal, he takes three face. But if he gets a 6 6, I don't know. With the abyssal, he's dead, right? Oh, with his white, yeah. yeah. True. Right. Wow. wow, yeah, that's. He didn't have. It's. It could very well be that that power won the game there. That he has Dreadlord or so. Yeah, we don't know. Very strong. All right. Yeah, I mean, I just don't expect that deck to just play profit there on six, and just be like. Eh. I, I think it was also a little weird on four. He decided to tap and play the Void Walker instead of just killing off the Yeti. Yeah, it's just like you get such a huge tempo swing basically because you got to kill two cards, and, and they have to either anti-tempo to kill it or they have to. Uh, just let you kill a free card and say, I lose the value of the card, I don't care, but I get to kill your basilisk for sure. Wow, growth. Do you want to keep the Crypt Lord? It is a priest, so I would have felt think... more comfortable about not being priest. Point wild growth into Crypt Lord, but... It's... it's even a world where you keep the living mana. Hmm. There is. I, I don't think I would, but... If you want, I, I can be talked into Do you even it. keep the Crypt Lord because it's Priest? I don't know, it feels weird. I mean, I would, but if you want to send it back and look like Sprite or Shroom or Basilisk, I'm fine with that too. My gut tells me to throw it, but we can right, learn if, we, if we can it. learn from it, right? We can keep it and see if it's... Because it could very well still do enough work. Yeah, I'm fine with either play. I, if you want to try to learn and keep it, or if you want to send it back and let's, put your guts let's on, try to learn and keep the wild growth and the crypt lord. You want to keep the living mana too? No, 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 no. Okay. No, with the crypt lord line, you look for mid range pressure, right? Yeah, like a. That's like kind a, of the whole point. Banshee you want, or something, right? You want banshee. You want druid of the claw. You want the yeti. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, there's a, so coin wild growth. Yep.
Dig Ooh. Interesting. Cryptlord? Yeah, I think it's still Cryptlord. Yeah, next turn we could go Forager plus one plus one potentially. I probably yeah. don't need to. We're just Forager. Cryptlord's not a beast. Nah, that'd be sick. We mark a Ashraj and everything. Oh, yeah, this is just a beast. Aw. Oh. Going for the Zubat now. You could also just uh, make a 3 2 and hero power. Or buff plus one plus one. Even is not terrible. Could even just hero power, take out the Wraith, and play Forager. A lot of options. Yeah, I'm not. I think that might be better. Mm -hmm. Well, I think with keeping the wraith up, it means he can't really do anything. So he'd have to hero power. From his point of view, he's kind of okay with that because he's a priest. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's just hero power to wraith trade and forger. Seems good enough. Very relevant. Need to be careful as long as the juggler's up though. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. That's actually really sick. That's like, I think this card's pretty bad. That's a really good use of this card. It's a good bump too. Uh, you want to heal it back up? Um. So. We summon two five. guys, so it goes up to five, seven, seven. and then back down to five. Hmm. Yeah, it's one, it's one health off of being sick. Could potentially just hero power the juggler and trade the forager and play the basilisk. Cryptlord's still in the way. The forager for the basilisk. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I think I like that more. Living mana after killing the 2-2. Two -two. Uh, that's early and that's... I don't know. I don't like super hate it, right? But getting Basil Scout makes things pretty darn awkward as well. We dodged it. Yeah. Yeah, I should have hit first. That was really rude. We're sequencing. Basilisk is a, it's a beast. Mm -hmm. Could potentially go for the Living Mana play now. Now, yeah. Like, mm, we'd probably mana first to have two mana next turn, right? Because then you could just hop on the power and smork him down. With that. Yeah, I think I'd mana here and sec Basilisk, push 5, and then get him next turn. So mana first. Pretend yeah. like we made a misplay. Nah, he knows, but that's fine. I wouldn't emote, that just sells it too much. Yeah, I think it's like pretty obvious when you emote. So trade the Basilisk? Yeah. I mean, he just misplays, so... Yeah, and you can you can interpret this as us wanting to hero power as well, so... Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, he's looking for Psychic Scream, if he has it. And if he's at 11 I assume he has Psychic Scream in his deck. <laughs> Alright, the thing is, we can just push so much damage now, though. Yeah, and we have 15, Leroy. 15, 21, yeah, but we won't have mana for Leroy, so... If he Psychic Screams, yes. Uh, the Dragon Fires, then we do. So you still want to do it, though, right? So we always power and just keep one, keep one trend back. For potentially trading, but okay. we always power and we always jam everything but one trend in this phase. Okay, so you want me to do that now or you want me to just wait till just in case? No, no, do that now. Power and then hold back yeah. one trend. Just, I just want to see his life total. I don't want to do pointless yeah. math, so because this is always happening anyway. So, you guys are a four, you have swipe in hand. Yes, but we won't go up to four mana next turn. That's my problem. That's 
Mm. If we trade, we guarantee to go up to four next turn, but he won't be So, active. this is five, six mana. So, even if he dragon fires, you can Leroy Hero Power for exact seas. So, I think, I think you can. Trade can tr then. You trade right. them, right? Yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah, either right. good for Scream or it's the same for Dragonfire. Yeah, I think you're right here. Because this way you get to pressure him with a Brewer. A scream. Yeah. Off the shadow mm -hmm. visions. Alright, so Brewer. Oh. Yep, Brewer. Is that 8? Oh. We have a low roll here. No taunt, let's go. Yes, game. Okay. That's, that's game. Get Leroy, baby. Yeah, Leroy. So it's really good to take your time, guys. And just like, count it out. Like, do we trade? Yes, no. Easy 12 0. Solid. Let's have a look at those 12 overwards. Thanks guys. It was a good deck though, it was a good deck for sure. Living mana just choo chewed all the way through there. Nice. Yeah, it, it really did a lot of work that run. I was more impressed by that priest having Rascal in his 11 0 deck or around 11 0 deck. Yeah, Rascal is like not a good card. Like, it's like, I don't know. And he used it really well with the knife juggler and stuff. I don't know. This is very good. Brad at the Zonk. Thank you, man. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back. Five months in a row. Nice. It's all right. Mm -hmm.